What is up guys, it is Gamers Revolution here, and I'm going to be bringing you some information about the upcoming DLC Uprising. Now, there was an image released today, well actually really early today, and I'm sorry I'm bringing this to you guys pretty late. But anyways, the release was a little bit of a poster, it was kind of like a Microsoft point card with a little slot up at the top where you can put it on like one of those hooks it wasn't like an actual poster like the other ones were so i thought it was a bit strange at first when i first saw that and it's just a little tiny thing could probably fits in your hand but it is map. very an interesting thing now the maps that we see on this are obviously vertigo and studio but then the other done. two which are magma and encore now I just wanted to say that these sound like really weird maps. Like I like Studio and Vertigo. Those sound like legit Call of Duty maps. But these other ones, they do not sound like Call of Duty maps at all. Magma and Studio. And on to the call I mean the Mob of the Dead little thing. It has a completely different text than it, and I looked back over that the Revolution one just to make sure that that didn't happen in the other one, and no, the Die Rise one was the exact same text, so I thought that was a lot, really strange actually, and I, I'm not sure if they did that on purpose, but the thing that really gets me, like, going on how fake this is, is the release date, April 16th. April 16th. It's the second right now. That gives them two weeks. There wasn't even a trailer today, and they always come out with a trailer on a Tuesday, so that means that they would have to come out with the trailer one week before the actual DLC comes out, and that does not give them a lot of marketing time. Because if you are a market, you are going to want to get enough time to get the word out there about the DLC so that a lot of people buy it when it actually comes out. And that's just how marketing works. So, obviously, they wouldn't do this so that they could make a lot more money off of the actual DLC. And that's the big reason on why I believe this is fake. But a lot of people seem to think that it's real just because we had seen it in the code and a lot of stuff like that. But it just looked really fake to me. Like in the call, I mean the Mob of the Dead, sorry that I keep doing that. It just looks like the Alcatraz sign, everyone knows that. It says like, United something and then under it has Alcatraz. That's an actual sign from Alcatraz. But to me, that just looks like it got photoshopped in. It doesn't even look like Treyarch, if they even did do this, spent any time on making that little poster image. And also another thing that gets me pretty going on how fake this is, is was that it um, is the same exact layout as Revolution. Now, I remember watching one of Ali A's videos on how would Treyarch would not be using the same layout for the same DLC over and over just because they want to get something fresh and new and that's just not how Treyarch is. And the fact that they're repeating this except making the zombie side just a little bit bigger, I don't see Treyarch doing that. I see them coming up with a brand new style for this. And yeah, so I believe that the trailer is going to be coming out next week. Now, I know I say this a lot of times, like, oh, I think it's going to be coming out next week. But since it didn't come out this week, I'm pretty much positive that it's going to be coming out next week. And just don't believe this Uprising DLC thing. Um, the fact that, that it was only coming from one location and one guy submitting this out, because when Revolution came out, there were multiple images of this coming into GameStops and people getting pictures of it. But this, this only came from one Best Buy, I believe it was. And that was it. It was just this one guy with one little tiny poster taking a picture of his hand. And this just seems completely fake to me. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on why I believe this Uprising DLC photo leak is fake. And I hope I proved some points to you guys on why this is probably fake. And I will thank you guys for watching. So see you guys later. Bye.